Good evening, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and we have two brand new cards coming out of a set I didn't even know about, a uh, quarter century duelist box. I have no idea what the hell this is, I feel kind of blue balled, because I feel like the next Fatal Nightmare reveals are going to be Gold Pride, and this is the second night in a row where they're not revealing any Phantom of Nightmare cards, and instead they're revealing other sets, which is cool, I like new cards as much as the next guy, but when you promised my archetype new support, and you were like blue balling me for now two days, I'm a little offended, come on, let there be tomorrow, let there be some gold pride support. But uh, anyway, that's my soap opera over now. Let's go over to brand new cards. So first things first, uh, I guess there's a quarter century duelist box. I don't know if this is an OCG exclusive box or is it going to be for everybody. But I guess it's a quarter century box, which is cool. Uh, we have a new ring Karibo. Alright, so let's get straight into this. We have two brand new cards revealed out of this duelist box. First one is Hang Karibo level 6, also known as Wing Karibo level 6. It is a Life Fairy Special Summon Effect Monster, level 6, 300 attack, 200 defense. This card is always treated as an Elemental Hero and Favorite card. So it's both searchable off the Elemental Hero Searchers, and it's also searchable off your Favorite Searchers. I believe the Favorite cards are the Neos cards, but I could be mistaken. There's a lot of diversions of heroes, so I know the favorites are a brand new version of the heroes. I believe it has to do with the Neos archetype, but I could be mistaken. But overall, it looks pretty cool. Uh, this card can be normal summon, it must be special summon from your hand or graveyard by banishing one elemental hero fusion monster or one wing Karibo from your hand, face of field, or graveyard. You only special summon one wing Karibo level six once we turn this way. Interesting effect to summon himself. You have to banish Elemental Hero Fusion. For, I guess it can be summoned something from Grave, which is cool. I don't know how practical that is, but a uh, Wing Karibo should be easy enough. I just don't see a normal Elemental Hero deck playing this card already. Uh, then, when your opponent declares an attack or when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, trigger this card, destroy a monster, and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. This card is mediocre at best. I can see it being played in a Karibo deck itself, but even then, this thing should have been a level 5 Karibo because they actually have some really cool level 5 support for Karibos, funny enough. Uh, the new wave of Karibos, they had like these whole bunch of iterations that revolved around a level 5 or the stars of a level 5 monster, which was important. So I wish this guy was a level 5, but overall, it's okay. I don't see Hero Dex playing this. I can kind of see Karibo Dex playing this. But uh, you all have to tell me in the comments if this is good support or not. Uh, the next card is what I'm more excited about because, of course, it has Ultimaya Zulkin on it. And any monster that has Ultimaya Zulkin as the artwork is usually insane. So this is Shining Star Dragon, Light Dragon Tuner, Effect Monster, Zero Attack, Zero Defense, Level 4 Main Deck Monster. You can only use the first effect of this card once a turn. During your opponent's main phase, if this card is in your hand, quick effect. Target one Dragon Synchro Monster in your graveyard. Special summon this card. If you do, special summon that target, but its effects are negated. Then immediately after this card resolves, you can Synchro Summon one Dragon Synchro Monster using this card you control. That is absolutely insane. And if you don't know what that means, it basically means, hey, you just target a Synchro Monster in your graveyard, spell summon this guy from your hand as a level 4 tuner, and then he immediately quick synchros on your opponent's turn into a really powerful synchro. So you use a synchro 8. Uh, basically, you have a synchro 12 synchro summon. If you use a, what's it called, uh, the 4. So 4 plus a 6 equals a 10. So you use a 6 monster as a 10. If you, and this card is actually kind of insane. This is actually really, really good. It does have to target a dragon synchro monster, but that shouldn't be too hard enough. I definitely see some applications as this is a really cool one of, like a Hoppier Squadron that's searchable. I hope it's searchable anyway. And then finally we have its second effect, which is Dragon Monster, Synchro Summon, using this card as material, can't be destroyed by battle. This is a very, very powerful effect. Uh, yes, you are locked into Synchro Summoning one Dragon Synchro Monster control. So, wait, you can Synchro Summon one mo Dragon Monster, Synchro Monster, using this card to control. So it does lock you into only Synchro Summoning Dragons. But who cares? This card is literally Hoppier Squadron for Dragon Archetypes. That's actually really sick. But uh, I have to see some applications for that in the future. 
Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't do anything stupid. See you all in the next one. And please let the next fan of Nightmare Cards revealed be the Gold Pride support. You've been blue balling me long enough. Let's see the support. Take care. Thank you.